Good afternoon, everyone. Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to the 2022 Graduate School of Education and Human Development Doctoral Hooding Ceremony. My name is Colin Green and I am the Academic Dean for the School of Education and Human Development. I'd like to welcome everybody who has made the journey to be with us today in person to celebrate our graduates. I would also like to extend a welcome to everyone who is watching this ceremony on live stream. I'm sorry you were unable to be with us today in person, but delighted that you're able to join us uh, via the live stream today. In, I'm gonna kick off our ceremony this morning and uh, we'll try to keep it moving along. Uh, so that um, we get to celebrate the graduates and uh, then you can all go off and have your wonderful lunches and dinners and happy hours thereafter. Uh, in preparing for today's occasion, where typically a speaker might be expected to give our graduates some advice, I, remind, I was reminded of somebody from way back in history who used to give advice. The person, you might have heard of him, he was called Socrates back in Greek society. He went around giving lots of advice. They poisoned him. I have taken note. So my advice graduates today is gonna to be somewhat sparing. Nevertheless, I'd like to frame my comments today with two short poems. The very first poem is by the American poet, Nikki Giovanni. For over five decades, Professor Giovanni has written on topics from race to social and cultural issues to children's literature. I'm not going to kid you, I have not read widely or deeply Professor Giovanni's work, but I have read enough of her work to be quite taken with this one short poem of hers. It's entitled, A Journey. It's a journey that I propose. I am not the guide nor technical assistant. I will be your fellow passenger, though the rail has been ridden. Winter clouds cover autumn's exuberant quilt. We must provide our own guideposts. I have heard from previous visitors that the road washes out sometimes and passengers are compelled to continue groping or turn back. But I am not afraid. I'm not afraid of rough spots or lonely times. I don't fear the success of this endeavor. It's a journey and I want to go. Those selected lines from Nikki Giovanni's poem convey the, the highs and the lows, the twists and the turns, the points of uncertainty and ambiguity, and the fear and the courage of undertaking an endeavor that has a lot of promise, but also has some peril to it. So graduates, these past four, five, Six, seven, seven plus years that you've been with us have most likely been quite a journey for you. Yet each of you, in Giovanni's words, groped forward and the winter clouds did not let fear get in the way of you achieving your accomplishment. You didn't turn back. And today, autumn's exuberant quilt, or perhaps spring's exuberant quilt, you can smell and taste and feel the success of your doctoral endeavor. And so smell it, taste it in your mouth, 
and feel it all through your body. I took a moment to read the titles of your dissertations. I didn't have time to read them all, so I'm just telling you I read the titles. A couple of you have read your dissertations because I was the person who was helping you, but for most of you I did not. But I do note that your work is groundbreaking, it's outstanding, and it's important. It's taking hold in classrooms and administrative offices of K-12 schools, in classrooms and offices in higher ed, in counseling clinics, in military institutions, and in hospitals and private sector organizations. It's fair to say, graduates, you've made a mark. Your topics were, wide, were very wide-ranging. I knew I was gonna have difficulty with that sentence. Um, one of you explored the journey and transition experience from being an active NFL player to a retired NFL player. One of you clarified, I love this title, how to communicate alternatively, release endorphins, self-soothe, and engage in emotional regulation. I think we all could do with reading that dissertation. Another of you revealed how a group of young, vibrant, teenage black girls developed their political literacies through civic practices. And finally, one of you explored the role of emotion in how journalists make sense of reporting news events. Those are such wide ranging topics and you certainly have made your mark in that way. Many of your studies sought to enhance equity and opportunity for individuals who come from disadvantaged and underrepresented groups, either here in the United States or abroad. Your work addressed head on issues of race, class, gender, sexuality, religion, and national identities, a remarkable range and body of work. I want to say to each of you graduates today, thank you and welcome to the doctoral club, a, real, a reasonably exclusive club. This doctorate you have earned is the ultimate test of your intellectual endurance and skills, and this ceremony is our way to honor you for your intellectual tenacity and resilience, to acknowledge your effort, and to recognize your achievement. We hope we caused you some pain. Uh, perhaps a little bit of, a, of an emotional journey and the pain that goes along with it, but more importantly, I hope we caused you some intellectual pain by asking you to extend your thinking, to take on and consider perspectives that perhaps were not natural or comfortable. And then when that dissertation chair that you had asked you one more time to rewrite something in that dissertation belonging to you. I know you smiled. I know you said, of course I'll do it. And internally you were sort of thinking to yourself, when will this end? But we know that this hard work in the late of night or early hours of each day was and is yours and a singular achievement of yours. So it's okay to take a moment, breathe that sigh of relief and enjoy this day. This day belongs to you. It's one of your finest moments. But now that you've taken that moment for yourself, I want to recognize that you didn't get here alone. There were peers, there were partners, there were parents, there were children, there were friends, there were faculty, there were relatives who were your supporters and cheerleaders. So, graduates, may I ask you as a gesture of thanks to please stand, turn around, and applaud those who are here today who helped you. Thank you everyone present and those of you on live stream who have been the ardent supporters of our graduates today. 
I'm delighted that your dissertations have either begun or continued stories and conversations that matter. So I have two questions for you to finish up today. How will you keep your conversation and story going? How will you allow the story of your work in your dissertation to unfold? I began with an American poet, Nikki Giovanni. I'd like to end with an Irish poet, Padraig Tuma, who writes in his book, In the Shelter, the following lines. And I said to him, are there answers to all of this? And he said, the answer is in a story, and the story is being told. Then I said, will I ever find meaning? And he said, you will find meaning where you give meaning. You will find meaning where you give meaning. The answer is in a story, and the story isn't finished. Please continue the conversations that you began in your dissertation, your unfinished stories. We thank you, graduates, for your friendship, for your collegiality. Congratulations, doctoral classes of 2020, 2021, and 2022. And finally, it's my pleasure to now to introduce to you Dean Michael Foyer. Dr. Foyer joined the Graduate School of Education and Human Development in 2010. We were very fortunate to welcome to the school such an accomplished leader and researcher and visionary uh, person in the field of education. Before coming to GW, Dean Foyer was the Executive Director of the Division of Behavioral and Social Sciences and Education in the National Research Council. He was also in the National Academies and as a past president of the National Academy of Education. On a personal note, he's not just here to run the business of a School of Education and Human Development, but is very much motivated by a deep concern about the future and quality of education in the nation around the world. Dean Foyer has been and continues to be a true advocate for supporting and enriching doctoral study here in the School of Education and Human Development. Would you please join me in welcoming Dean Michael Foyer. I'm uh, double masked, but I'm taking it off just so that I can hear myself and I hope that you can hear me. Good afternoon, hello everybody. It's so wonderful to see you. I have to say, of all the things I get to do as dean, this ceremony stands out as truly one of my favorite things for all kinds of reasons. So thank you for being here. Thank you for the hard work you've done. Um, and speaking of thank you, I, I want to go off script for a moment and say a very big special thanks to our extraordinary staff in the Ed School, without whom we couldn't do anything close to an event like this, not to mention everything else. I'll uh, go off script with two more sentences. One is, it occurred to me as I was listening to Dean Green that um, once again I'm reminded of why we call this kind of ceremony and this moment in the life cycle of our university commencement? You've just finished something. Keep that in mind. It's a journey, but this is the beginning of an even more exciting journey. And you commence as of this afternoon or when your official degrees are conferred, you commence on a path to continued excellence and to continued contributions to the fabric to the life, to the opportunities uh, in our country and around the world. So I thank you for that, for commencing with us again today on this next chapter. Um, I promise to be brief, no matter how long it takes. Um, 
Dean Green, thank you for your kind introduction. You, you said very nice things about me. Uh, this is not a day to argue with my most beloved faculty. Um, I, I, I want to talk to you about your standards one of these days, but that's okay. You, you, you're entitled to your opinions. Uh, today is about you, the graduates, and of course your families and friends uh, who have uh, come to this place to salute and to celebrate you. You have reached a remarkable milestone, um, and um, you are now part of a very special, small group in the world. According to the United States Census Bureau, there were roughly 220 million Americans age 25 and older in 2020. Among them, about 4.7 million, that's just about 2%, have a doctoral degree. So welcome to a very distinguished club. And it isn't a club that you can buy entry to. It is a club that you join through the hard work and through the diligence and through the commitment that you have demonstrated. There isn't a time for me to really wander into a long and uh, contemplative treatise on the meaning of success, but let's just say for summary purposes, it's a combination of hard work, determination, resilience, and yes, luck. You have worked hard. You have maintained your focus. You have been determined. You have bounced back from the challenges of academic life. And by the way, the extraordinary challenges of the last few years of COVID and the concurrent pandemics of racial and economic injustice in our country. And you have taken the time to finish what you were doing. Bravo. I should say also that you've been lucky. I consider myself lucky. Every day that I wake up in the morning, I consider myself lucky. Humility is in short supply these days. You've heard about the supply chain blockages on your Amazon deliveries. I would add to that that humility is somewhere clogged in the supply chain. There are too many people, especially in this town, who essentially woke up on third base and now strut around as if they hit a triple. Um, for those who don't follow baseball closely, Dean Green will explain it uh, later. When I was younger, my father would greet me at the end of the day when I came home from school, and he would say, well, did your teachers teach you enough, or are they expecting you back tomorrow? We won't have you back in class tomorrow. Uh, I know you're kind of ready to cheer that thought, but we will miss you dearly. And you have given us a very, very special gift to know you, to work with you, to learn from you. There you go. Why do I consider myself lucky? Because of you. And I believe you have learned a thing or two from us but I want to ask you now to acknowledge your faculty and staff who worked so hard with you over th these years of your doctoral pursuit. Will the wonderful G-Shed faculty and staff please rise so that our graduates and their families can acknowledge you. Yay! It's okay, some of them are applauding themselves. That's okay. You deserve it. There's an old um, joke that goes something like, you know, what's the difference between the optimist and the pessimist? And the answer is the pessimist just has more data. Well, I'm not so sure. Because I see in front of me today data, I see evidence that reinforces my optimism. 
I see a racial, ethnic, gender, chronological, religious, national mosaic that is the essence of the American educational experiment. You are the data that give me the greatest hope. And especially in these extremely challenging times, I can't thank you enough for giving me that evidence to bolster my hope for our collective future. Thank you so, so much for your contributions to the G-Shed community, to the George Washington University community. We are all a much better place because of you, and we want to hear from you. Keep in touch as you commence and continue on this great journey that you are on. It's a great pleasure for me now to introduce one of my cherished colleagues, our Associate Dean for Research and Partnerships, Dr. Maxine Freund, a truly wonderful colleague. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Oh, it feels so good to have this mask off. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome. I want to welcome all of the students and, our, and your guests to this event. Um, my job today is a pretty simple one. It's to tell you the history of the hood in the doctoral hooding ceremony that you're about to witness. The Doctor of Education and Doctor of Philosophy degrees, I'm sorry, let me see, there we go. The Doctor of Education and Doctor of Philosophy degrees are the highest earnest, earned degrees available in the world of learning. The designation doctor signifies that the holder has made an original contribution to knowledge or practice and is ready to contribute more. Most importantly, the holder is also ready to teach others how to make their own contributions. Today, the student, you as graduates will be officially hooded on the stage. The special hood worn by the doctor as a part of the academic regalia traces its origin back to the beginning of the Western University over 900 years ago. At that time, students and faculty were nearly all clerics and what we now call academic regalia was then just the usual garb of clerics. This included a hood to pull over one's head to keep out the rain and cold. By the 14th century, the hood had reached the elongated form we see today and presumably no longer served a practical function. However, Listen carefully. Legend has it that the pocket at the end of the hood was a convenient receptacle for coins. And the more ambitious faculty would solicit wealthy donors to drop money into this pocket. Thus keeping with the theme expressed by Dean Green and Dean Foyer, thus keeping with the theme of contributions. Although this tradition has long since disappeared, the reappearance of the custom of putting contributions into the pocket at the end of the hood would doubtless make today's graduates very, very happy. So as doctoral programs de demanded the longest and most arduous courses of study and research, hoods grew in size and splendor to set them apart from lesser degrees. The hoods of the doctoral graduates have become to universities what flags are to nations. In keeping with the tradition, as you cross the stage today, you will be hooded by Dean Foyer and your dissertation, dissertation chair and advocate. Our newly hooded graduates will be presented with a flower to represent the support and encouragement of others during, your doc during the doctoral program. You have all made sacrifices for this degree, but so have your family and friends. We know that without their support, an achievement of this magnitude would not have been possible. We ask you as graduates to consider 
giving the flower to someone who has been there for you or who cheered you on throughout the course of your studies. So without further ado, we will now begin our hooding ceremony. I invite the counseling advocates to stand and prepare their, um, to prepare, prepare, excuse me, to hood their students. I am proud to present Courtney Page Glickman. She is hood, hooded by Dr. Maggie Morganfield Parker. Her dissertation title is Play Therapist Pregnancy and Emergent Dynamics When Working with Children Who Have a History of Attachment Trauma, a Grounded Theory Investigation. I'm proud to present Maria's, excuse me, Maria C. Han Gianni. She is hooded by Dr. Sylvia Murata Walters. Her dissertation chair title is Communicative, uh, Communicate Alternatively, Release Endomorphins, and Soothe, Self Soothe, and Emotional Regulation for Cravings Management with Substance Use. I am proud to present Lita Holgen Gaviria. She is hooded by Dr. Sylvia Murata Walters. Her dissertation title is Potentially Traumatic Experiences and Mental Health Util Utilization Among Other Documented Latinx Immigrants. <laughs> I'm proud to present Sherry Lindsay Matre. She is hooded by Dr. Sylvia Murata Walters. Her dissertation title is The Impact of Social Support and Relational Health on the Hookup Culture and Sexual Assault Victimization in a Sample of College Females. I am proud to present Amber Marie Samuels. She is hooded by Dr. Richard Lanthier. Her dissertation title is An Intersectional Grounded Theory Investigation of White Counselors Attending to Therapeutic Alliance with Clients of Color. I am proud to present Lindsay Elizabeth Smith. She is hooded by Dr. Sylvia Murata Walters. Her dissertation title is The Ecology of Campus Sexual Assault, a Latent Class Analysis. I am proud to present Jenny Christine Whitlock. She is hooded by Dr. Richard Lanthier. Her dissertation title is Toddler Attachment Security and Parenting Stress in Families with Autism Spectrum Disorder. All right, I now invite um, I now invite the curriculum and instruction advocates to stand and prepare to hood their students. Dean Foyer, we just need a minute here to get our faculty organized. Curric I'm sorry, curriculum and instruction faculty? Thank you. I am proud to present Evan Matthew Crump. He is hooded by Dr. Jonathan Eckel. The dissertation title is Amputating Shakespeare, Theater Becoming Theater. I am proud to present Shauna Knox. She is hooded by Dr. Arshad Ali. Her dissertation title is Decolonizing Subjectivity from one black woman from the third world. Yeah. 
wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm proud to present Kristen Marie McInerney, excuse me, McInerney. She is hooded by Dr. Sharon Daniels. Her dissertation title is Newcomer Multilingual Learners' Experiences in High School, a Case Study of Communities of Practice and Sense of Belonging. I'd like to continue to invite the, the advocates for the PhD in education to stand and prepare to hood their student. I am proud to present Ibtisam Oribe. She is hooded by Dr. Arshad Ali. Her dissertation title is Dissertation Reading with My Eyes Closed. Arabic literature as a site for engagement with alterity an ethnographic study of Arabic lit <clears throat> literature collegiate classroom. I am proud to present Kimberly, Kimberly J. Sloan. She is hooded by Dr. Patricia Tate. Her dissertation title is Stories of Teachers' Long-Term Experiences with the National Writing Project. I am proud to present Rachel Lynn Talbert. She is hooded by Dr. Arshad Ali. Her dissertation title is Urban American Indian Students Negotiating Civic Identity. I am proud to present, whoops. I'm going to do it again. I am proud to present Sabrina G. Curtis. She is hooded by Dr. Colin Green. Her dissertation title is Black Girls' Political Literacies, The Dialectics of Civic Practice. I am proud to present Jean Sun Jun. I'm sorry, Jean Sun Jung, I apologize, thank you. Her dissertation title is Translational Policymaking of Social and Emotional Learning in Crisis-Affected Contexts, a Case of Lebanon. <laughs> I'm proud to present Anna, Angelica Jones. She is hooded by Dr. Ashley Stone. Her dissertation title is My Black Womanhood, She's Fierce, How Black Graduate Women Respond to and Cope with Gendered Racial Microaggressions. I am proud to present Manu, am I doing this right, Nam Namala? Normala. Normala, I'm so sorry, Normala. No, Ryan, I've, I've gotten the clues. I hope I did it right. Congratulations. Her dissertation, she's being hooded by Dr. Lionel Howard, and her dissertation title is Written into Representation, the South Asian Girl in Cultural Texts. And again, our apologies for having the phonetic spelling incorrectly placed. I am proud to present Margaret Wetzel Bellow. She is hooded by Dr. Rebecca Thesson. Her dissertation title is Missing Voices, Public Charter School Principals Leadership Coaching Experiences. I am proud to present Christina Marie Williams Brown. She is hooded by Dr. Kelly Linkus. Her dissertation title is The Parent Perspective Building Trust with Schools While Determining Least Restrictive Environment. I am proud to present Caitlin Ann Dubine. She is hooded by Dr. Jennifer Clayton. Her dissertation title is Principal Role in Addressing the Access and Opportunity to Advance Coursework Gap for Black and Hispanic Students. And I'm proud to present Emily Ann Dillard. She is hooded by Abe, Dr. Abe Takalesi. 
and her dissertation title is Supporting Black, White, Biracial Students, Leadership Practices, and Recognition in the K-12 School Environment. I'm proud to present Pamela Jean Farrell. She is hooded by Dr. Christine Naganga. Her dissertation title is A Study of Principal Self-Efficacy and Leadership Practices in Schools Serving Economically Disadvantaged Students. I'm proud to pr present Alicia C. Gray. She is hooded by Dr. Kelly Linkus. Her dissertation title is Leading Equitable Education, a study on the role of special, ed excuse me, special education leaders in reducing and eliminating disproportionality within their local education agency. I'm proud to present Shante Lidra Onije. She is ho hooded by Dr. Kelly Cheryl Linkus. Her dissertation title is Moving the Academic Needle for Students with Disabilities, a basic qualitative study examining principals and assistant principals as instructional leaders for special education. I'm proud to present Grand P. Pacheco. He is hooded by Dr. Naganga. Her, his dissertation title is Building Culturally Responsive Schools, How Principals Lead Secondary Public Schools with Increasing Numbers of Immigrant Students. I'm proud to present Thomas Pipoli. He is hooded by Dr. Jennifer Clayton. His dissertation title is How Past Informs Present, Identity, Mission, and Authenticity in American Independent Schools. I think. I invite the Education and Leadership and Administration advocates to stand and, to pre and prepare to hood their students. And now I invite Dr. Sharon Daniels to the podium, my colleague here, to present our graduates from the Ed Admin and Policy Studies program. I would invite our policy, uh, educational policy faculty and advocates and other advocates to join the ed administration faculty uh, to come forward and hood your graduates. I am proud to present Mark Anthony Blanchard. He is hooded by Dr. Kelly Cheryl Linkus. His dissertation is Choosing the Gap understanding the advanced placement enrollment choices of black high school students. I am proud to present Elizabeth C. Dean. She is hooded by Dr. Matt Shirell. Her dissertation title is Principal's Perspectives on the Student Voice of Leadership. I am proud to present Charlene Levon Evans-Smith. She is hooded by Dr. Jennifer Clayton. Her dissertation title is The Influence of Educational Supports for African-American Female Students in Middle School. I am proud to present Angela Rupa Florio. She is hooded by Dr. Kelly Cheryl Linkus. Her dissertation title is With and for All, Middle School Principal Instructional Leadership. I am proud to present Erica P. Heflin Queen. She is hooded by Dr. Rebecca Thesson. Her dissertation title is experiences of district leaders, principals, and teachers implementing Common Core state standards in English and language arts. I am proud to present Roderick Hobbs. He
He is hooded by Dr. Lionel Howard. His dissertation title is Restorative Justice Practices, a Qualitative study, Case Study on the Implementation and Sustainability of Restorative Practices and its Impact on Reducing the Disproportionate Suspensions and Expulsions of Black and Hispanic Students. I am proud to present Jody Ann Johnson. She is being hooded by Dr. Dr. Christine Naganga. Her dissertation title is The Role of the Principal in Promoting Positive Teacher-Student Relationships as a Component of a Positive School Climate. Okay. All right. Go, Sabrina. I am proud to present Sabrina Anita Lindsay Law. She is hooded by Dr. Jennifer Clayton. Her dissertation title is More Than a Word, a basic interpretive approach to understanding internal accountability through adaptive leadership, relational trust, and a professional capital. Yeah. I am proud to present Matthew Robert Malone. He is hooded by Dr. Josh Glazier. His dissertation title is From Startup to High Performing Network, The Evolving Case of the Highland Schools. I am proud to present Colleen Vicenta Reyes. She is hooded by Rebecca Thesson. Her dissertation title is Principal Supervisor Differentiation Practices that support principal professional learning. I am proud to present Darren Jason Fleischer. He is hooded by Dr. Matt Shirell. His dissertation title is, They Have Always Been There, Education Support Professional as Informal Mentors to Adolescent Students. I am proud to present Drew Freed. She is hooded by Dr. Josh Glazier. Her dissertation title is RPPs Don't Exist in a Vacuum, a case study of the influence of the institutional environment on a research alliance. I am proud to present Sarah Lynn Gobal Krishna. She is hooded by Dr. Matt Shirell. Her dissertation title is Interpretations of Equity Sustainability in Computer Science Policy. I am proud to present Brianna Ruth Holland Higgins. She is hooded by Dr. Josh Glazier. Her dissertation title is Getting to Yes, a Case Study of Teacher Buy-in to School Improvement Efforts. I'd like to now call the Higher Education Administration faculty and associate advocates uh, to come forward to hood your students. I am proud to present Richmond L. Hill. He is hooded by Dr. Lionel Howard. His dissertation title is The Community College Experience of Black Male Achievers, Participation in Black Male Initiatives. I am proud to present Martha Jackson Kwan. She is hooded by Dr. Rick Jakeman. Her dissertation title is Student Athletes, Autonomy and Self-Authorship Amidst the Organizational Culture of Collegiate Athletics. Yeah. I am proud to present Shelby Leanne McKay. She is hooded by Dr. Ashley Stone. 
Her dissertation title is, Is College Athletics the Front Porch? A Case Study of Perceptions of Funding a Mid-Major Division I Athletics Institution. I am proud to present Irina Orlava. She is hooded by Dr. Rick Jakeman. Her dissertation title is The Relationship Between On-Campus Involvement in a Student Organization, Cultural Distance and Career Decision Self-Efficacy, a quantitative case study of international undergraduate business students in the United States. I am proud to present Lauren B. Phillips. She is hooded by Dr. Rick Jakeman. Her dissertation title is The Adult Learner Story, an Exploratory Narrative of Experiencing an Introductory English Composition Classroom. I am proud to present Nancy Stelowski. She is hooded by Dr. Rita Kirstein. Her dissertation title is Philanthropic Funding and State Appropriations at Public Higher Education Institutions. I am proud to present Kristen B. Vickery. She is hooded by Dr. Rick Jakeman. Her dissertation title is Understanding the Role of Supports Among First-Generation College Students who attended community colleges and four-year institutions. I am proud to present Tamara M. Washington. She is hooded by Ashley Stone. Her dissertation title is Brown Skin Girls, Skin Shines, and Tells a Story. I am proud to present Brett David Weigel. He is hooded by Dr. Min Soon Kim. His dissertation title is Academic Performance Between Resident and Distance Education Programs in the U.S. Army War College. I am proud to present Kristen Nicole Wong. She is hooded by Ashley Stone. Her dissertation title is the role of on-campus race-based student activism in a multicultural center at a predominantly white institution, an ecological case study. Okay. At this time, I would like to call uh, Dean Rick Jakeman uh, to introduce our doctoral graduates from the Department of Human and Organizational Learning. I invite the human and organizational learning advocates to stand and prepare to hood their students. I'm gonna practice. I am proud to present Martha Lucia Acosta. She is hooded by Dr. Casey. Her dissertation title is Fictitious or Virtuous? Exploring Whether Cognitive and Emotional ca Capacities Predict a Manager's Reaction to Organizational Paradox. <laughs> I am proud to present Corey Adams. He is hooded by Marie, Dr. Maria Shea. His dissertation title is Institutional Factors That Impact Managers' Attitudes Towards the Value of Telework in the U.S. Federal Government, an exploratory study using latent class analysis. I am proud to present Abdul Harman Alanzi. He is hooded by Dr. Shaista Kilji. His dissertation title is Human Resources Development in Small and Medium-Sized Enterprises in Saudi Arabia. I am proud to present Pastor Timothy Davis Catlett. He is hooded by Dr. Goldman. His dissertation title is A Time to Tr Transition, How Exennial and Millennial Clergy Adjust to the Leading Large Congregations. Yeah. 
I am proud to present John Seabrook DeForest. He is hooded by Dr. Ellen Scully Russ. His dissertation title is Developing Fire Service Leader Adaptive Capacity Within Complex Situations. I am proud to present, present Lois E. De Natale. She is hooded by Dr. Ellen Scully Russ. Her dissertation title, title is The Cultural Development of U.S. Military Veteran Moral Repair, a Hermeneutic Phenomenological Study. I am proud to present David A. Jarrett. He is hooded by Dr. Andrea Casey. His dissertation title is Organizational Responses to Issue Selling, a Strong Structuration Theory Approach. I am proud to present Leslie Carolyn Kirsch. She is hooded by Dr. Maria Shea. Her dissertation title is Tone at the Top and Occupational Fraud, a Latent Class Analysis of Individual Fraud Risk, Factors, and Organizational Ethical Leadership in the United States. I am proud to present Darnell Ahmed Lee. He is hooded by Dr. Andrea Casey. His dissertation title is An Exploration of Emotion in the sense making of presidential news events, journalists making sense of reporting the news. I am proud to present Kevin Scott Matthews. He is hooded by Dr. Andrea Casey. His dissertation title is From Complexity to Clarity How Do Audit Managers Experience Sense Making in Ethical Choices? I am proud to present Julie A. Mendoza. She is hooded by Dr. Andrea Casey. Her dissertation title is Moral Identity Meanings of Individuals Who Have Been Involved in Organized Criminal Activities. I am proud to present A. Ann Graybrook. She is hooded by Dr. Maria Shea. Her dissertation title is Becoming Biracial, the learning journey of bicultural Chinese professional women. I am proud to present Rita Danielle Meyerson. She is hooded by Dr. Andrea Casey. Her dissertation title is Historically Speaking, a case study of the organizational identity dynamics of an iconic American brand after acquisition. I am proud to present Deborah Denise Morgan. She is hooded by Dr. Julia Storboard Walker. Her dissertation title is Towards Understanding Cross-Cultural Awareness Development Through Security Partnership Programs, an exploratory case study examining the program on applied security studies. I am proud to present Foshade Atenuke Oyofo. She is hooded by Dr. Maria Shea. Her dissertation title is Factors that Determine Enlisted Personnel in Army Military Intelligence to Obtain a College Degree. I am proud to present Chalani Safarli. She is hooded by Dr. Maria Shea. Her dissertation title is Women's Leadership Identity Development in the Public Sector as in Azerbaijan, a Grounded Theory Study. I am proud to present Diane Rochelle Sherlock. She is hooded by Dr. Russ Corte. Her dissertation title is Executives Failure and Success During Organizational Entry, a Qualitative Study. I am proud to present Everett T. Shoup II. He is hooded by Dr. Ellen Scully Russ. His dissertation title is Risk, Uncertainty, and Emotional Exposure, How New CEOs of Local Nonprofits Experience Vulnerability as They Learn in the Workplace. I am proud to present Timothy G. Stover. 
He is hooded by Dr. Andrea Casey. His dissertation title is Organizational Role Influences on Organizational Identity Construction. I am proud to present Christine Lynn Thomasek. She is hooded by Dr. Josh Glazer. Her dissertation title is Alignment or Misalignment with Professionalization, a Comparative Case Study of Teacher Licensure Programs. I am proud to present Alicia D. Williams. She is hooded by Dr. Shaista Kilji. Her dissertation title is Making Sense of Her Journey, Exploring African American Female Executives' Leadership Experiences Within Nonprofit Organizations. I am proud to present Donna Renfro Williamson. She is hooded by Dr. Andrea Casey. Her dissertation title is Processes of Christopher Organizational Identification During a Choral Director Transition Room. I am proud to present Jennifer L. Wong. She is hooded by Dr. Andrea Casey. Her dissertation title is Organizational Learning, a Social Network Perspective. I now invite the faculty of the Special Education and Disability Studies advocates to stand and prepare to hood their students. I am proud to present Monica Vivian Maria Arce. She is hooded by Dr. Beth Tuckweiler. Her dissertation title is The Lived Experience of Parents Experiencing Poverty While Navigating the Special Education Process. <laughs> I am proud to present Adam Berman. He is hooded by Dr. Lisa Rice. His dissertation title is Making Work Work, Improving Employment Outcomes for Autistic Adults. I am proud to present Paige K. Bradford. She is hooded by Dr. Karen Eyrig. Her dissertation title is A Qualitative Study of Programs Including Students with Complex Support Needs in the General Education Curriculum. I am proud to present Cho Rin Chen. She is hooded by Dr. Lisa Rice. Her dissertation title is Caregivers of Children with Autism, a Mixed Methods Analysis of Strain and Treatment Strat Satisfaction. <laughs> I am proud to present Kedist Greerma. She is hooded by Dr. Lisa Rice. Her dissertation title is Living with a Child with Autism, Perceptions of East African Immigrant Parents and Caregivers. <laughs> I am proud to present Susan Jaffe. She is hooded by Dr. Lisa Rice. Her dissertation title is Why We Stay, a Grounded Theory Analysis of the Perceptions of Special Educators. I am proud to present Allison Neves Lucia. She is hooded by Dr. Beth Tuckweiler. Her dissertation title is A Multiple Regression Study of the Impact of Technology Supporting Vocabulary Development on Language Learning Among English Language Learners and Adults with or Without Disabilities. I am proud to present Heather Lynn Walter. She is hooded by Dr. Beth Tuckweiler. Her dissertation title is Exploring Early Childhood Special Education Teachers' Well-Being Through a Multidimensional Framework, a Mixed Methods Study. I now invite Dean Fourier back to the podium for his closing remarks. Whoops. Oh. Okay, I rest my case. What a fabulous group of new 
members of the doctoral club. happy for you. We're proud of you. I want to thank again the exquisite faculty of our Ed School who made this possible with you and worked with you and the staff who helped you. Bravo, everybody. You guys are amazing. Um, this was a terrific dress rehearsal. Now we're going to take it from the top. Anyway, thank you again all. Congratulations. The audience, we ask you to please remain seated so that the graduates can uh, Process. That's a new academic word, to process. You will process out. We love you. Take good care. Thank you all.